What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and a lot of you ask me, Hussein, what do you think about full stack engineering? Uh, should I go through full stack engineering or should I focus on the front end or the back end? So in this video, I'll try to answer this question as short as possible. And uh, I'm going to start by actually defining what full stack engineering is. And uh, this is my own definition, so I didn't write it anywhere. So my, to me, the full stack engineer is a person responsible of maintaining a front end and maintaining a back end in in the same time so they are responsible of of building the front end they are responsible of actually building the back end when i say the back end i mean the databases uh, reverse proxies layer uh, load balancers all that stuff and the front end when i say front end i mean they build the mobile applications they build the ios app they build the android app they build the browsers the web application and all of the stuff you might disagree with this definition but when you say full stack engineering that's my definition of full stack engineering so out of the bar this is a great position to be in, right? You, you're you kind of spread everywhere. You're going to learn the front end, you're going to learn the back end, you're going to learn the database, you're going to learn pretty much everything. So so if you think about it, full stack engineers, it's kind of sexy thing to say, like, hey, you, you know everything. You know the front end, you know the back end, you know databases, you know proxies, you know load balances, you know... Uh, the fetch API, all parameters and that, you know, uh, you know, Axios, you know, all of this stuff, right? Front and back, right? So it's very, you're going to learn a lot of stuff if you're a, a full stack engineer. That's why I do recommend new people to new engineers to actually be a full stack engineer. I used to, I used to change, I used to think differently. I used to not recommend people to be a full stack engineer, but now I actually do recommend people to be full stack engineer, especially if they are just starting on. Why? Because they're gonna test the entire stack. And and not only not only the back end, but also the front end. So that could be very, very attractive for people. So so you're going to taste the front end and you're going to find out if you like the front end or not. Or you're going to taste the back end and you're going to lie, see if you like the front back end or not. So that's what you should do anyway in, 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 in your beginning of the years, right? Because you don't know what you like or what you're going to end up doing when you first start. Even first, two, three, even three, four years, I would argue, that still you're tasting, you're just new, you're just tasting different things and by by tasting different things you're gonna know what you like and you're gonna know what you don't like and based on that you start kind of narrowing down on what you like and when i say that 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 narrowing down can't we're gonna explain what that means right however i do not see full stack engineering being an actual uh uh, job that you do for the rest of your life, in my opinion, if you know what I'm saying, just because it's just not feasible to do full stack engineering for 30 years or 20 years, because I might be wrong with this one, but if you think about it, in the front end engineering, just take the front end engineering. Front end engineering is so broad. You can be a web developer and you can focus on learning from web development. You can pick, I mean, okay, I mean, I want to work, specialize in JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript. And even in web, I'm just picking the web now. You can specialize in frameworks and you can be a specific, specialized in React framework. People hate when I say React is a framework. It's a library. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So React is a library. I'm, I'm, I'm specialized in this, right? or I am specialized in Angular, or I specialize in these kind of frameworks or libraries, right? So it, just with the web, in the browser itself, you can be specialized in all of that stuff, right? So, and, and that's not taking into consideration being a mobile developer, which is kind of a front-end developer to me, right? I mean, assuming you're building an application that consumes some back-end, right? Mobile application, that's also a broad field. You want to be what? You want to be a iOS developer, you want to be a BlackBerry developer, apparently I still live in 2009, uh, you want to be an Android, Kotlin, Java developer, so, so that is also a broad, imagine guys, this is just the front end, Java, Kotlin, 
Android, and this is now there is the Flutter. I think there's a new thing now. There is iOS. Coco is Coco still a thing? I don't know. So, and web. So there's just just pick the front end. There's so much stuff you can be in, specialize them. Right. So if you say just on front end developer, you're still just tasting things. And I can I I even tell people if you want to become a back end developer or back end engineer, that's also even engineer versus developer. I have a different definition of what that is, right? Because if you become a back end engineer, that's also a huge field. What exactly you want to become? That's why I tell people if you want to become back end engineer, just jump into the pool and start tasting all of that stuff and check out the video I made about back end engineer. That is so much stuff. You want to be a database engineer? That's the back end to me. A lot of people disagree, but yeah, well, database is always in the back end, right? You're going to call it somehow, right? And there's an application. You can be an edge engineer. That's a new field spliced from back end engineering. Whereas you, you built caching layers, and that's the first territory that people hit when you when they hit your backend that's the edge engineering reverse proxies load balancers all that stuff lives here right you want to be in the middle right just work with layer layer four proxy versus layer seven proxying where whereas you you you, you know when to proxy web sockets versus you proxying grpc that's a completely different beast to fight right it's just it's just a very very complex field so which one what do you want to do so you want to you want to invent your own new communication protocol that's a new field that's a new thing you can do as a back-end engineer you can improve existing protocols all of that stuff guys so being a full stack engineer does not make sense in the long run because what are you you can't possibly tell me that you're good at all of that stuff you're top you're just tasting and you're spreading yourself too thin too too thin if you're just a full stack engineer for a long time right maybe i'm wrong but i don't see someone expert in everything to be honest right you can be jack of all trade or master of none let me give you an example if someone is is really good in database in, in the back end and not only just the back end he's really good as a database engineer and not only just database he's really good in relational databases and not, not just that he's he's adept he's a sorcerer source he's a sorcerer in mysql database engines you're telling me that a company wanted to hire a MySQL database engineer. Is it going to go with a full stack engineer or is it going to go with that particular backend engineer who knows that niche? Of course, they're going to go with the MySQL engineer because that's his skill. Yeah, not everybody want, want him, but he is really good at that particular it's just like YouTube, right? If you, if you want a niche, you have to niche in something when you make content, right? I, 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 I talk about backend engineering mainly, right? But I do a lot of stuff. I specific, specially specialize in databases in my daily job. That's what I do, daily basis. Databases. Not an expert by any means, but I do this still. Still, I don't call myself an expert in anything, right? But that's why I play in, I play in the backend mainly. And it's still... I did not find what I absolutely love to actually dedicate myself for the next 10, 10, 15 years to be that, oh, this is me. That's what I'm going to become. I still don't know that. Proxies, I love and adore proxies. I think the proxies are going to become a thing for the next 10 years. This is going to be definitely... A, 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 is this you you're seeing it everywhere proxies reverse proxies it, they are everywhere they are very 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 critical for infrastructure for everything so yeah i mean if even some if someone want to hire a react engineer versus a full stack engineer they're not gonna hire a full stack engineer right they're gonna hire the react engineer who actually although the full stack engineer knows react the, the React engineer who actually 
been practicing React for the past, how long React has been out? Five, five, four years? For the past far since its establishment, of course they're gonna pick up this and and so on. That being said, full stack engineering, I'm I'm not I don't know what positions are there, but from what I saw, full stack engineering mainly are junior positions and are very new positions. I'll be surprised if I saw a full stack engineering job with 20 years of experience. And if they exist, they probably they are they, they want to save some money. And they were just, okay, let's get a full someone who knows everything and just oh, pay him this much and, and instead of getting an engineer specialized for everything. And I'm not saying this to, to a kind of kind of kind of dish on full stack engineers. Not by any means. I mean, I might be wrong again. If if you're a full stack engineer, obviously you have a diverse set of skills that are very, very useful. But uh, again, specialized niche always win. So be a full stack engineer for three, four, five, six years. That's definitely okay. And you can taste all this stuff. But eventually you're going uh, you're gonna to gravitate towards some, 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 some field, some niche. First of all, you're going to gravitate towards the front end or towards the back end. And then once you gravitate towards one over the other, you're also going to gravitate more and more over the years. It's going to take a long time. I mean, I've been working for 16 years, right? I'm still starting, believe me or not. I still, I done the front end engineering and done back engineering. I done front end engineering mainly as desktop applications, not web. I've written very few web applications in my career, but mainly desktop application, which is very similar if you think about it. It's just some app that makes calls to a backend. Right? The backend happens to be the database or slash or a third tier. Right. So that's that's the idea here, guys. So taste full stack engineer. I think it's a very, very great field to start with. Again, this is all my opinion. You can agree or disagree. And as you go, you can start gravitating towards one over the other, and then you're gonna start grabbing even one one towards one thing only. All right, and uh, this is obviously I'm talking from passion point of view. Having a job is completely different thing because a job will tell you, oh, do this versus do this. But eventually, once you become a niched in something, and instead of you finding a job, the job will find you. It's it's gonna be reversed. That's what happened to me basically. Right? They found me. Because I, I specialize in certain things, GIS, utilities, and utilities with geographic information. So it's a very, very special niche, right? So take your time. Nothing, you're not in a hurry or anything like that. Just do, do what you have to do. Taste everything. Eventually, you're going to see what you like. All right, guys. I'm not going to make the video longer than it is. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you like it. Subscribe for more back indie ish news. And I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.